65, 335 Sunburst. You don't God, see that very often. Beautiful, man. Yeah. Block neck. And, and it made it onto the album. I played a couple songs on it. Um, Great. But one of the uh, people ask me a lot about the intro to uh, Chasing Ghosts what pedal I use to get that sound, because it is a, it's a unique sound, it's a cool sound. But I did not use a pedal. I used Dave's 335. Yeah, it's gonna feed, isn't it? And... I did it. <laughs> that is great. That's how I did it. It's a cool sound, hey, right? Man, can you just play your bass, your, your normal tone, so we can hear what it sounds like without Make you Make sure doing it's it? not a pedal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. It's a nice guitar. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So. What a freaking It's a song. cool thing. That is so cool. And I love I love the trapeze tail piece. I mean everybody always says it's gotta be have the stud. Yeah. That's the only way to go. Yeah. I love these. It's just you get more resonance. They're cheaper because they don't have the stud. Yeah. And you get to come up with cool shit like that. Yeah, that was great. I imagine though, at your volume, that's gotta get away from you playing the three thirty five. I bet there's a sweet spot. A little spot. bit, a little yeah. bit, but I like it. I like the wildness. Sure. I like that's why I like playing loud. I mean, I'm yeah. actually only in the 50 today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank I you. I prefer the 100. Yeah. As the guy standing next to you, thank <laughs> you for doing the 50 today. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's, it's a very old school approach. I like, I like it. It's wilder. It's sure. more untamable. Yeah. You don't know what frequency is going to come back when you're feeding back. Yeah. I'm not one of those guys that plays at bedroom levels and then just mics it on sure. stage. I don't understand those guys. Now I just lost like, what, 90% of your readers right there? Like, right. oh, I do it that way. Yeah. But uh, no, it's just part of the fun of playing live. This is taming the beast. Right, right. Yeah. Well, and some of that stuff, like those crazy, like when you've got your thumb on the neck and you're doing this, that jazz, I mean, I don't think you could do that at a bedroom level. I mean, it's, hmm. I, I don't know. No, I don't know. yeah, there's, there's certain things that, uh, yeah, yeah has that's, to be loud. That's has wild, loud. man. Speaking of that, just getting back, that is like, I've never seen anybody else do that. Maybe like Stanley Jordan, but he was playing like oh. like that. I know, I, I never understood why nobody uh, took it further. You know, <laughs> well, I, you know. Well, I, I mean, I, you know, I can't even really do it. I got arthritis here. I don't even know if I can do that kind of shit. Yeah, but I used to do chords with it. Oh, it's, it was, you know, yeah, crazy. And then little, right. and uh, I always thought somebody would see that and go, oh, and take it further, but nobody has. Well, because it's really hard. Makes me sad. It's, it's, really, it's really hard to do. <laughs> it's a little hard. That's probably why people aren't doing hard, it. It's really hard. It's definitely flashy. Uh, Come yeah. on. Oh, and it, it sounds amazing. Okay, so very cool. I'm, I'm glad you revealed that trick for, uh, for our listeners. That's, you, know, you will now see people doing that behind the uh, thing. That's going to be... Cause that's, and taking it further. Yeah, Come and on. taking it further. Yeah, right.